What's the word y'all, always watching TV, back with another exclusive, you know the vibes, hit the like button if you rocking with the content, drop a comment, let me know what you think, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you stay notified whenever we drop. Follow me on all socials that always watching TV. You know the vibes. And let's get into it, man. We got more Comedian Wars. Comedian Eddie Griffin has some things to say about Shannon Sharp during his comedy set. And I ain't gonna lie, y'all. It ain't looking too good, man. This is the second comedian to come out with these allegations about Shannon Sharp. Do they know something that we don't? Now, for those of you who don't know, Mike Epps did the same exact thing on his set about two weeks ago. But him and Shannon Sharp linked up and... He apologized, and they were singing Kumbaya, but Eddie Griffin went all the way there, man. I'm going to let the clip play, let y'all hear for yourselves, and we're going to pull up at the end of the clip and chop it up a little bit, man. It's always watching TV. I know the vibes. Like the video, share the video, and let's see what old Eddie got to say about Shannon Shaw. And Club Shay Shay. Oh. Yeah, Shay Shay. Yeah. Gay. I don't give a f that nigga gay. That nigga sitting there with them tight ass pants on, with his balls and f all up in cat's face. And him and the cat kept looking the other way. Uh, yeah, uh, you know, um, uh, look, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, look, uh, yeah, uh, you can tell how that nigga drink, nigga, you get, he kept on saying, now, now, cat. <laughs> That's dick lips, nigga. That motherfucker had dick on them licks. Don't no nigga drink like that. Oh man, he said that man got the DSLs. Yo, that those is fighting words, Eddie Griffin. And Shannon Sharp is a big old dude, and you a little petite one. You talking kind of crazy up on stage, man. How y'all feel about this? What y'all think about this? I ain't gonna lie. Shannon Sharp been moving kind of on the fruity side, man. Them, them pants is kind of tight, and he do be sitting in some weird angles in front of some grown men. So I can see where they coming from, but that's a strong allegation, man. As a man, it's a few things you don't want to be accused of in this world, man. There's just like an automatic smut on your jacket. People got to look at you completely different now, especially if it's like some in the closet type thing that you've been hiding for years. But Eddie Griffin and Mike Epps, I don't know, man. Maybe they know something we don't know they heard something we didn't heard they hanging around crowds that gossip about people of this status their personal life and maybe they know something we don't know man but these are some crazy allegations and of course shannon sharp responded so we're gonna get into what he said because you can't have these grown men calling you out your name calling you a fruit pie and you just on mute come on man the first one you linked up with him and you squashed it you you had a conversation that was the grown mature thing to do but now we got somebody else with these same allegations I don't know, Shannon, but let's see what he's talking about, man. We're going to give him the benefit of the doubt. Let's see what Shannon Shaw got to say about the situation. I gave my sister my word. Mm -hmm. I'm moving on. But she told me something. Like I said, I told my sister today. I sent her, uh, sent her something, and she's, she picked up the phone immediately. Yeah. She said, Shannon, what did Grady always tell us? Mm -hmm. She said, boy, I lie or die. Yeah. She said, Shannon, at some point in time, you're going to have to learn you can't fight the devil every day because mm. you'll fight a never-ending war. Mm. Pick and choose the battles you want to fight. This ain't one you should want to fight. Mm -hmm. People gonna let them say whatever. You know who you are. Right. You know what you are. What they're doing now is that they found out that Shannon is the hot thing. They are using the same joke, but at some point in time, it's gonna get old and people gonna get tired of y'all saying that Shannon, Shannon this, and you're gonna have to get back to telling jokes. Mm. Now, uh, please tell me you're not running out. Oh man, there it go. Seems like Shannon Sharp is taking the high road again, man. He ain't about to be negative. He not about to call Eddie Griffin out his name. He said he's not gonna argue a lie. And apparently these are just washed up comedians that don't got any more jokes. And they seen that he lit, he got his numbers up, and they jealous and using him as clickbait, man. What y'all think? How y'all feel about this? Do y'all feel like Eddie Griffin and Mike Epps was just reaching in thin air with these allegations about Shannon Sharp? Or y'all feel like it's some type of truth behind it? There's been like whispers in the industry, people talking about it, people insinuating and assuming things about him. And them being comedians, they just got to bring it to us in a comedic form. What y'all think, man? Do y'all think it's some type of truth to Shannon Sharp being a fruitcake? I mean, Buddy got a little 
little cute little Yorkie dog. <laughs> he be wearing the tight jeans. I ain't gonna lie, man. It's not aligning for you, Shannon. It's looking like what they saying is true. But I don't know. I'm not here to cast judgment. I'm just here to bring y'all the content and see what y'all think and how y'all feel about this, man. So drop a comment. Let me know what y'all think about this, how y'all feel about this. Mike Epps and Eddie Griffin both been taking shots at Shannon Sharp, calling him zesty, calling him out his name. Shannon responded to both of them. And with both of them, he tucked his tail, man. As a man, you call me that, and I know I'm not that. My reaction to it will not be peace. I'm sorry. But that was Shannon Sharp's reactions both times. So, hey, man, I don't know. Maybe he's just getting a whole lot of money, and he's not allowing little things like this to trick him out of his spot. Or maybe it's some type of truth to this. I don't know. Y'all drop a comment. Let me know what y'all think about this. It's Always Watching TV. Make sure y'all follow me on all socials at Always Watching TV. Like the video. Share the video. And until next time, y'all know the vibes. I'm out of here. Gang.